Mila. Um, I'm just going to do the general journal. I'm just going to do one of the past papers from DVD. And here it's, it is how it goes. All right. So we are given the balances there. So I'm just going to take those totals and put them in my general journal as totals. Then I'm going to go back and read each transaction. And remember, for each transaction, there will be a debit entry. And uh, for that debit entry, there will be a corresponding equal credit entry. Now, the first point says that Alan Martins, the owner, took stationery, which is 130 in trading stock. And the selling price of trading stock is 980. And the cost price of that trading stock is 735 for personal use. We know that when the owner takes anything from the business for personal use, it is reported as drawings. Drawings increase on the debit side. So we will debit drawings. Now, you'll realize that I debited drawings by 865. But what is made up of that 865? What makes up that 865? It is the cost price of stationary amounting to 130. And the cost price of trading stock. You only record the cost price of trading stock. If the owner takes trading stock from the business, trading stock will decrease at cost price. That's why we're crediting both. We're crediting stationary because stationary will decrease at cost price of 130 and trading stock will also decrease at a cost price of 735. All right. Let's read further. It says that J Small, please know that for everything that we record there, there's no need to record um to write in narrations. It says J Small a data owing 430 must be written off as irrecoverable. Now, how do we record that? That is bad debts. So we will simply debit bad debts and credit um J Small by 430. But know that J small is a data. Therefore, it will affect debt control. And we need to record that 430 on the credit side as it will also reduce our data's control. Okay. Point three says that AM traders fail to pay their accounts. And of 8,820 with number one dealers on time, interest for two months at 10% per annum must be brought forward. Uh, must be brought into our account. Please note that that 10% is per annum. Per annum means it's for the year. Now we need to calculate interest. And how are we going to calculate interest here? Note that it is us who are getting charged. We are AM, <clears throat> excuse me. We are AM traders and we've been charged interest because we paid our debt too late. That interest will be at 10% per annum. And obviously it will be calculated on the credit that we still have outstanding. Now, how are we going to record this? I will first show you how we calculated interest. It will take that 8,820 multiplied by 10 percent multiplied by two months out of 12. It'll give us interest for two months. We have to apportion it over two months, which is 147. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
that is interest expense and interest expense will be debited because we are getting charged that interest and we will credit number one dealers which is our creditor creators will increase on the credit side as well owe them more as they charge us interest that will also affect creators control on the credit side <clears throat> excuse me And then point number four says repairs of 20,000 was done to the roof of the building. This was entered in the London buildings account in error. So we debited London buildings in error. So we need to reverse that by debiting the correct account, which is repairs and reversing London buildings and crediting it with that 20,000, right? It doesn't affect debtors control or creditors control. Now point five, a corner settled his account of 400 after deducting 5% discount. The bank informed AM traders that the client had insufficient funds to honor this check. Please note that they will normally say those payments as we don't use checks anymore. The correct entry was made in the cash payments journal. So when we reverse any payment that was dishonored, we'll reverse it in the cash payment journal. Now, in this case, we need to note that we settled an account of 400. But after we were given a discount of, <clears throat> after we were given a discount of 5%. So I will simply take that 400. Times it by 5%. And that should give us the discount that needs to be cancelled. Because the payment was cancelled, the discount will be cancelled in the general journal. You should know this by now. So basically what we're going to do here is simply debit the name of the data because that data will owe us more. And that is a corner. And for us to calculate the discount, we will simply take what a corner was owing us, which is 400, you times it by 5%, then um, that should give you the discount, which is 20 rand, okay? So a corner will owe us 20 rand, more as the 400 um, minus the discount 380 was already recorded in the cash payment, you know, this will simply reduce our discount allowed by 20 rand. A corner is a data. That's why we also reported it on the David side as A corner will now owe us extra 20 rand. Now, R. Lewis, whose account was previously written off as bad debts, returned from overseas and settled his outstanding account of 1,250. This receipt was entered in the debtor's control column of the cash receipts journal in error. Please note that when a debtor comes back to pay us after they were written off, when they pay us, we record that as bad debts recovered. Bad debts recovered is income and they didn't do that. You simply debit bank and credit bad debts recovered. Then they didn't do that. Instead, they debited bank and credited R. Lewis. But we no longer have R. Lewis as a data because R. Lewis was written off. So that is incorrect. So what you need to do is to reverse that. By reversing it, we are going to debit R. Lewis because it was created by that amount. And then credit the correct account, which is bad debts recovered. Bet that's recovered its income. Now, R. Lewis is a data that will affect our debtor's control. We'll record that 1,250 on the debit side of the debtor's control. Note that your debtor's control, both the debit side and the credit side, must be totaled up. So we'll take 492, add it with 20, add it with 1,250. That will give us 1,762. Then take 236 plus 430, and that will give us 666. 
and obviously the David side of equator's control will be the same, which is 632. The credit side, however, will be that 298 added with 147. And obviously that will give us 445. That's it. Please try the next activity. You just need to do the same thing. Just report this in the general journal. Pause for 20 minutes just to do this. And then as you mark, this will be your solutions. All right. Please know that for you to be able to have done this, you should have done all, should have watched all the videos on the general channel. They are on the um, under videos and the great 10 accounting playlist. Check them out there. And then this will be the final um, video that you watch when it comes to the general channel. After you have watched all the other videos, they deal with drawings, they deal with writing off bad debts, they deal with um, calculating interest on overdue debtors, and then obviously us being charged interest for not paying our debt on time, okay? Just check out those videos and incorrectly debited or credited accounts as well, all right? And that is it from me. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye again. Oh, thanks, thanks, Victoria. Um, Pretoria, a lot of people from Pretoria are watching my videos and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for your support. Um,